In this problem, we're being asked to write an equation and then draw the graph of it from a real world type of situation. It says Maria earns $10 for each hour working part time at a bookstore. And she earns one additional dollar for each book that she sells. Let A be the amount in dollars that Maria earns in an hour if she sells B books. And then we have to write an equation and then graph it in this graph here. So A is going to be the amount she earns. That's what we're going to have here on the left side of the equation. And it's going to be $10 plus $1 for every book. And if B is the number of books, we're going to have this $10. And then we're going to have plus, well, $1 times B. But I guess 1 times B is just B. So this can really be written as 10 plus B. And then we can graph this. I think um, you know the best way to graph it is to make a table of values with the number of books for our X and the number of uh, uh, the amount of money she earns for Y. So we'll make this our x-axis and this our y-axis. And if the number of books she sells is zero, she still gets her $10. So the point zero, 10 is gonna be on here. And then if she sells one book, well, that's 10 plus one or 11. Two books is 10 plus two or 12. Three books, 10 plus three, 13. Four books, 10 plus four, 14. So it's going to go up like this. And in fact, we can just draw the line in that's associated there. And we could read that line to see if she you know, sold 10 books, how much money would she be earning, and so forth. So that is how to write an equation to relate one thing to another and then to graph it.